Savvy Rider implemented new technology to modify his 2015 GL1800 Honda Goldwing. That Goldwing later became known as Black Flash, an extreme lighting show bike. What's going on YouTube? This is Cornell. Your tech savvy rider. Hey, today is a Wednesday, the tenth. It's about uh, four o'clock, somewhere around there. I had to uh, stop working on Black Flash and start uh, bringing stuff back into the garage. We're getting ready to go through a storm, uh, so I just got all the stuff that I was that was hanging off the off the bike got it bungee cord up so I can bring the bike back into the garage so I won't be able to work on black flash today uh, but I, what I am going to do is attempt to put the parts for the trailer together uh, several different things that I'm, I'm working on um, several different projects I got going on right now one is being the ring of fire for the rear wheel uh, the wheel of fire, a ring of fire, uh, that originally come uh, comes you know by uh, made by Kerrigan. I can't use it because I use the rolling eyes light set. Uh, so what I have to do is actually take it apart and strip out the lights that come into uh, that comes with the ring of fire, and uh, take it out and then put in my uh led strips for the rolling eye slice set uh because it is a two different system lighting system i i have no choice but to take it apart because the actual wheel of fire uh does not work with the rolling eye slice set but i can take the rolling eye slice set and put it into the bracket that the whip, the ring of fire comes in. Uh, take it out and replace that strip with the rolling eyes light strip, and I'm good to go. Uh, so I end up using these lights that came with the wheel of fire. I probably end up using them for something else or another project or something. Uh, who knows? I might put a light, use the light as the inside of the of the trailer. Who knows? Uh, I'll find something to do with it. Um, I don't let nothing go to waste. <laughs> uh, what I also got going on is uh, I've been told that uh, Oklahoma does not require uh, motors, uh, trailers to have tags. Um, but I'm planning on entering the the um, light show parade down in Texas, and Texas do require their trailers to have tags. So. I went on and purchased the tags for the trailer, got it, uh, and uh, got tags for the trailer. Uh, after purchasing the tags, I came to the back of the trailer and noticed that there's no placement, no plate on the trailer to install a tag. So I'm guessing I'm probably going to have to go through the back or drill some holes through the place in order to get these tags on. So that's another project I have to also work on. Uh, my main goal for the day is to take advantage of before the rain or, or the storm uh, take uh, come in 
is to get the some of the parts on the trailer uh, connected now first thing first is going to be uh, the hookup for the trailer as you see I already unwrapped everything removed all the bubble wrap or whatever that it was all included on wrapping this up uh, that's going to be the hitch for the, I mean that's going to be the tray for the cooler and then all these connections down here are probably going to be bolts and nuts to connect everything back to the trailer or to hold the cooler uh, at this point what I'm going to do is go ahead and start working on it and then go through and show you how I put my trailer to, uh, brackets and stuff together. Uh, this also will be a stop and go video uh, as you say uh, as I've been seeing all along. Uh, this is my first trailer so I don't know exactly uh, how it's supposed to go so I'm reading instructions you know do it the right way because uh, I only have one time to get this right and I want it to be the first time do it right the first time i won't have to go back through trying to take something apart and trying to figure it out so i'm taking my time reading the instructions looking at the videos that came with the bush tech trailer i'm doing the whole nine yards and make sure that my first uh my first go at putting this together uh would be the correct way to do it and i'm sharing that with you all all right so uh, like i said this will be a stop and go video Go co uh, GoPro stop recording. The thing I did was grab me a uh, piece of wood and place it up under the wheels. I'm using the, the wood as a basically as a chalk block to stop the wheels from the, the trailer from moving on me when I uh, get in the front and start lifting it and start lifting in the front. The second thing that I did was grab me some some uh, styrofoam. Uh, it's recommended to lay some up under the trailer so when you start tilting it uh, in the front that it's not being damaged or you're not damaging the back because it's resting on something uh, so it won't uh, underneath the trailer won't get damaged so I'm using some styrofoam um, brackets there that I pulled out of some box somewhere I can't remember what it was uh, next thing I got to do is come up to the front and grab the <clears throat> grab my assembly here pick up on it and it said that this little piece right here is supposed to come out out so I gotta remove all of it and take it off okay so that little piece it's no good according to the instructions I'm supposed to pick up, up up on it and then line this up and push it in hopefully my chalk block will hold more <clears throat> and try to line the holes up in the bar with the holes in the trailer let me see if I can get up in there so I can see it Hopefully you all can see it. It's recommended that I could get a soft tail hammer and beat it in, but I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Well, I gotta beat it. But then again, I could be wrong. <laughs> okay, there we go. Woo. Okay. Now that the holes are lined up, hopefully you can see that. Now that the holes are lined up, it's recommended to get a screwdriver and come in on one side and then grab the screws and come in on the other side. So 
Let me see what we got here. Okay. All right. That's my screws. Let me find me a little screwdriver right quick. And go back at it. Okay. Come in on one side with the screwdriver to make sure I'm not hitting my air holes and connection in there. And then take the screw and come back in. Where one come in, it's going in, the other one is coming out. And push it through. That's a very tight fit. I don't know why everything seems so hard. Okay, it's supposed to be just pushing it screw through. Once it comes through, get your get your boats on. Shot down there for him. Back on my chalk block. GoPro stop recording. Okay, the next step is to add this this U clamp and the bolts. I had to take a break and find my boat. It disappeared on me. Alright, get it in, up, and get them on. back to my chop block so it won't move on me. Okay, we're good to go with that one. Let's go to the next step. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, the next step is to grab the air lines that's coming out the tube and pull any slack out of it. And then once you pull all the slack, this little T right here, they got a, a zip tie where you can strap the zip tie down to the frame. 
I said, once you pull all the slack out the air hose. Of course, I can't do it while I'm holding the camera, so I'm going to have to stop. GoPro, start recording. Okay, that completes the uh, the assembly of the of the trailer for us getting it in operation for the pool. Uh, only thing left now is to add the accessories for the trailer, which is the cooler package and the license plate for the back. Uh, once I tied off the air, uh, the air holes at the bottom down there, that was the last thing I needed to do for it to be operational. So it's good to go now. Next up would be the cooler and then the license plate. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, the next thing I want to do is put on the uh, headstand and the cooler plate. It's not giving me any specific instructions on placement. So I'm just going to play it by ear and try to level, level it, it off as best as, I, as best as I possibly can and, and just go from there. So what you're about to see is me just playing around with it until I see a way that it can be done. Uh, like I said, this is my first time messing with a trailer, so I'm basically uh, just trying to get a feel for it. Just by looking at it, I will uh, assume that the... Uh, stand itself will probably go in first or go on first so i'm gonna unscrew it and get it going and from a couple of the videos that i've been looking at it seemed like this stand is basically is going under the cooler package uh, at a level. But I need to determine what that level is going to be for myself. I got the, I got the rest of the stand up on uh, this, this seat here that I'm using to sit on myself. So I'm just, like I said, playing this by ear. Let's see what I can come up with here. set this off where it look like it'll look look like it'll sit level and then I just adjust it from there okay Try to set it in a position where it look like it's it's somewhat level. Huh? About to bust my butt. Where it look like it's somewhat level. Okay, nothing is easy about putting this tray on with these U-bolts. You're going to basically have to do a whole lot of twisting and turning trying to get these U-bolts and the boat to line up so you can tighten them up. So you're going to have to do some playing around with it. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these down, try to give them as equal amount of thread in them as possible on each side. So you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna have to play around with it, cause. Seems like everything gets harder when you're trying to record what you do while you're doing it. Trying to look down the middle to see if it somewhat even. Yeah, uh, that's good enough for government work. Now let's uh let's get the cool on here and strap it down and then start working on the tags. cover I have that's the bag the bag front Cover on. Let's see, is this zipped up or something? get at least the corners and come back through and get the rest of them.
doing it all up. Do a little bit more tightening down of the tray. Because I was able to move it. just putting too much force on it trying to get it on that's why it was moving other than that the last thing to do is to get the tags on uh, let's do that next GoPro stop recording okay it's time for me to put the tags on I'm gonna try to do this the easiest way I can possibly can since I'm gonna have to make my own holes I'm just gonna basically use some masking tape and try to line it up on where it needs to go uh, using tape on the side to give me a guide on where the top of the tags need to go it's not going to be perfect but I just need to be able to see what I'm doing close enough get it in there let's see mark it so that's where my two holes are go uh, the inside got carpet in it so I better try to go in and remove this backside carpet. It look like they glued it in here or something. Where they going up there at the top up there? I think I can get a hole in it without messing up anything. So let's give it a shot. Don't look like they put in the carpet at the top of that area. I'm going to use a 1-4 bit to try to go in. See what side bit that is. One quarter, okay. Here we go.
There we go. bit in there to see exactly where this hole coming out at. I'll stick another one in there and see what we got. Hope that the hole is big enough. Find out where did it come out at. Uh, yep, just barely on top of the carpet. So it's not bad at all. Okay. Uh, let's check out the screws that I got for the tag and see if the hole big enough. Which would be a total waste of time if I didn't. I had to go behind it with another bit or a bigger bit to make it fit. Uh, too small. So I gotta go with a bigger bit. What else I got in here? Uh, I'd rather for it to be too small than too big. Yeah, let's see what else what we got. Okay, that's a little bit bigger. So back to the drawing board. Okay, I had a bad bit, so let me try it again. Okay, good to go. off my tape see what I got right, two big old holes they should be big enough for the tag hopefully now So, screw flat washer nut needs to come through the back side. Okay. Here's my other one. Alright. Screw, flat washer, and nut. Okay. It needs to come through the other side. 
Try to get the plates lined up. One hole, two hole. Get a boat in. YouTube, I just finished all the accessories on the trailer. I'm gonna call it a night. Start working on the gold wing again when the weather gets bad. Hopefully, uh, today is Wednesday. Hopefully, I can start back working on it uh, by Friday uh, when I get back in town. Other than that, YouTube, that's my spiel for today. Thanks for watching me uh, put this trailer together and the accessories. That's my spiel for the day, YouTube. Y'all have a good one. GoPro, stop recording.